Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Forever is a so for more offering from the multi-talented sensation Sitello. She features the amazing Skywander on this one and the duo are set to take over the airwaves with this really stunning collaboration. But first, let's find out a little bit more about the collaboration. Stunning collaboration, firstly. How did the two of you meet? Okay. I got a call one morning <laughs> from a guy that I normally work with. His name is Sisa. It tells me that there's a guy called Ukoteni and he needs a vocalist. Uh, Ukoteni called me, picked me up. We picked the cello up, went to the studio, and here we are. Okay. So it was a complicated relationship. <laughs> 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 was oh, the song what? already written? Did you already have the, the, the melody and the yeah. beat? And then had you already written the track? How did the mm -hmm. whole coming together, how did Forever come into fruition? So um, the day we met her, yeah. uh, we had already worked on the song since March, in yeah. actual fact. So we started working with it um, since March with Mwendi Ngobo, musical genius. Oh, musical genius. Like, really? Oh, Tell me goodness. about it. It's my oh, goodness. Oh, <laughs> what Einstein is? Yeah. Music is to Mwendi. And he's mm. so chilled. La po, but mm. my word. Musical yeah. genius. So we had worked on the so song. So what's it like working with him then in studio? Does he just, do sounds just come to him? Sounds do just come to him, actually. <laughs> it's creepy but when you're not it's used nice to it. working really? with somebody that's got such a flair for music mm. and takes what you say into consideration and you're able to just share ideas. And I also think working on the song for that long till we did the vocals was such a good thing because every time you go into studio, you've got new ideas. Mm -hmm. You've got a new melody that you want. You want to soften some parts. You want to harden some parts. You want to heighten some parts. Yeah. So I think just working on the song for such a long amount of time was really really good for us incredible i can't wait to hear it this is <laughs> going to be amazing something that really excited me about your duo is the fact that you don't see a lot of women djs coming out of durban yeah. like i know dj carly and i love her but like yeah. she's the only good dj i know of in durban why do you think so few women are you know coming up in those ranks especially dj mm. um i think we have this fear yeah. of just tapping into that industry because it's so male dominated as well. Um, and people just tend to think that not a lot of people can make it. Yeah. Um, and people are just very hesitant to go forth into it. And I think that's what's holding them back the most. Mm -hmm. But when I went into the industry, I found it so surprising that other female DJs were so welcoming and so motivating and uh, willing to, to teach you things yeah. about the industry mm -hmm. um, outside even DJing. Yeah. Um, that's nice and that I, you had that support. It was really, really surprising yeah. and yeah. really, really uh, good to feel that in yeah. the industry. Yeah. Now, you're both moms, and I think, you know, when you're going to pursue your career yeah. and you're going to try and make all of your dreams come true, it's difficult. One lesson that I've learned in my life is that you can have it all. Yeah. You just can't have it all at the same time, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So how have you managed to be mothers and amazing mothers while reaching your dreams? Um, well, for me, I suppose my family has played a great role in helping me. Like my yeah. mother, she's always there Like when I need uh, mm -hmm. someone to babysit. And I had a child very young. I was 17 when I had yeah. my son. Merck just came now. She's, she just turned two. Cute. So my family has been very helpful in <laughs> yeah. terms of the kids and also just encouraging me. It's just because mm. you have a child, it doesn't mean you can't now pursue your dreams. No, of course So not. for me, it would be my mother. Incredible, even though she wouldn't let you name your kid. And because now she feels like <laughs> she's so mom. supportive, she has to name the child. I love you, mommy. <laughs> and for you? I think having my son was even a bonus, in yeah. actual fact. It's been such a push factor yeah. to do and achieve so many things that I've wanted to do and achieve in my life. Yeah. So I definitely think it was um, not something I had planned at that time, but the greatest unplanned blessing. Yeah. I think when you have a child, it, it encourages yeah. you to want to do more because you want to be an example for mm. them. Yeah. Uh, to just, you know, be who you want to yeah. be. So, mm. yeah. I'm just going to end it there before. Did your kids make you better people? Yes. Yeah. In what way? Um, I think I was always somebody that 
uh, would think of things yeah. and not materialize them mm -hmm. and not put action into it. Yeah. But after I had my son, it was definitely something that I started to work on and worked on myself as well. Yeah. So it definitely made me a better person. Mm -hmm. it, I, I learned how to <clears throat> love, like loving your son, your daughter is, and a love you can't explain to the next person. Yeah. It's so unconditional and so amazing. Mm. So amazing. Oh, uh, you guys are making me broody. <laughs> don't <laughs> kidding. No, don't, don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't be. <laughs> I mean, it's all good. And then they get naughty. Yeah. Uh, we are going through the terrible twos. Oh, really? Oh. And are they terrible? I've got a goddaughter who's almost three, thank goodness. Can really... yeah, you see my face? <laughs> Life is hard, Jimmy. <laughs> Hard. It is hard. <laughs> kidding. Have a child. Have a picture. You know, have someone that you leave on this earth. Have a memory of yourself yeah. Yeah. that you will yeah. leave for the world. Say, oh, Jeannie was here. Yeah. Have a child What's already. the most important lesson you've ever learned in your life about yourself or about anything else in life that you'd want to share with your child and you want to impart with them? That it's okay to not be liked by everyone. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and it's you okay. actually cares. You know, <laughs> and I realized that at age 28, yeah. that yeah. it's okay when somebody doesn't like you, it's okay. 28's a good age. So many people learn that much later. Mm. You know, mm. and yeah, that's the one lesson. And you? So just be himself. Yeah. Be yourself. The rest of the world just needs to accept you. Yeah. You don't need to accept them or mm. they need to accept you. Be yourself. Yeah. That's it. I mean... Isn't this amazing? This, the future is here, and it's just so <laughs> awesome. Strong, amazing women that are mothers and killing it in business and making sexy music. I mean, I'm so happy I'm a woman. <laughs> After the break, Satella and Sky Wonder open this weekend's festivities with a performance of their brand new single. I can't wait!